first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am a 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate We are the children of the sun I can see you when I look into your eyes We are the same, and we are light, and yeah, we are one Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along We are awakening as one we can make a difference, yeah, we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun. Well, if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are, oh, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside. Very cool. I don't very often do my interviews in the same place with someone, at least so far. Maybe we'll do more. Um, but I am here today with my amazing friend Sol Naciente and I'm Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. This is our 21st Century Superhuman show. And today we're going to talk about your amazing life journey and Janzu, how that came into being, how you set off on adventures as a young man and really never looked back, right? Very much. Yeah. Exciting to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, yes, uh, this is a great time we're living and I'm really grateful for being able to bring the awareness of the work I do, which is a uh, Jansu Aquaflow water massage rebirth experience, which is um, the most incredible, powerful, profound uh, healing modality. Yes, it's amazing. <clears throat> Having participated, I can say it's incredible. So Saul, we had a really neat adventure recently with a group of friends and we went and drove around the region where we are and visited some backcountry lakes and different things and entrances to the ocean that we didn't know were there but during that time we got to talk about our life stories and how we ever got started on these adventurous lives and we're kind of living outside of traditional society both you and I are probably for similar time periods in our lives. How did that get started for you? Hack the happened? system. Yeah, hack <laughs> the system, I like that. I, I was raised like conventionally, going to like the schooling system, and I always felt a little awkward, out of place. I, I, I was successful, yeah. it, was, it was not like I, I was struggling, and I, I definitely didn't like the feeling that I had to be there. Like the obligation, and, but um, anyway, I was this awkward kid walking around and smiling and saying hello to everybody, and not most of the time not getting a hello or a smile back, and, and I was like, what's going on? Am, am I the one uh, like weird or or? And I, I and I just kept going. I mean, like I mean, I, I couldn't figure out like any other way of being. It was like just wanted to be myself and be happy and, and you know, be natural. It seems like uh, everything is uh, a little bit superficial, you know, like everybody's like trying to be something else or than the, 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 themselves, right? So Somehow I, I dropped out of secondary school. And I had nothing holding me back. I was like, all right, so what's out there in the world? I, and I decided to start traveling. I crossed my own country, which is Canada, all the way from Montreal, where I was born, all the way to Vancouver on the other side. I did the same thing in the US. Yeah. Uh huh, from the East Coast to the West yeah. Coast. And then I started working with the fruit, picking fruit, and 
meeting all these amazing traveler yes. and gypsies and alternative and independent free people. And I, and I, and I was inspired. I was like, wow, I, how do you do that? I want to, I want to be like that. You know, I want to have my own life, uh, freedom and bit by bit. The music came in and I think that was the big stepping stone. That was like, mm -hmm. I call it the, the magic carpet ride, right? Wow. Once I, once the drum, the drum, which is the connection with the, the mother earth showed up mm -hmm. in my life. It was like, wow, magic happened. It started just to unfold. I started singing and I started, you know, g g gathering with communities and mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, like uh, jam and music, art around the fire, dancing. Mm. So all this start opening up my spirit to this other option of being free and happy. And hacking the system. Yes, hacking the system for sure. Heartbeat of the earth. Heartbeat. Heartbeat of the earth. introduced you to Juan, who was the father of Janzu. Um, but before that, when did you start going to rainbow gatherings? I'm just curious about that little tidbit, because yes. it's such an amazing piece of our subculture. There's so many, like, uh, those, those miracles that, sh that happen in your life, that you meet that one person, which leads you to... Uh, showing up to certain event and that's surely exactly what happened this guy showed up and said hey there's gonna be a gathering on you know somewhere a rainbow gathering the rainbow family and I was curious because I was already into the drumming the singing and the community and so I was like all right let's go check it out and I, all I knew it was this gathering out hours walking away from all civilization and <clears throat> and so and this is a gathering of people kind of living in community on the land sharing meals singing that's right. dancing it's all free expressing peace and, and so how did the rainbow gathering start after woodstock like there was a million people that gathered in peace and love for for a whole big weekend and like so it was a big ordeal back then, like a million people being together peacefully, no fighting, no no violence whatsoever. A million people That's gather crazy. on that piece of land. So some major shift happened there, and then people were like, "So okay, what's next? Where are we going with this from now on?" And uh, the hog farm and uh, many of those more Yasker, Yasker's pond. The more active groups, they, which had community uh, already, like the Hug Farm, they right. they they started gathering uh, every year, having like this uh, 
uh, rainbowed in the and all over gathering. the world, right? All, now it's been it's spread all over the world. Yeah. It's the biggest non-organized movement in the world. Wow. And they've been doing this for, didn't you say this? Say, this is 50 years anniversary. Wow, that is amazing. From 72. Very, very cool. Very cool. So, you decided to leap out of North America. And where did you land and what happened next? <laughs> I ended up move, flying from Vancouver to Mexico. My plan was to make it to Guatemala. And... Um, uh, and I wanted to go travel all South America, but so I first arrived in Mexico and uh, lived uh, on the beach in the Pacific Ocean and start this cleansing, start this like removing like and all this conditioning yes. and all this the stuff that was like not me, not part of me that I didn't need, you know. Yes. So I need. I started releasing that and just unfolding and being myself and be free, living the life on the beach. Releasing the societal conditioning, I think that's huge. And I think we still deal with that today. I mean, if someone wants to begin listening to their heart and following their path, societal conditioning is something we have to kind of let go of and begin moving beyond. Uh, that's right. Family, society, everything, education. Old programs. Religion. Yes. So then how did you end up meeting Juan? Well, that was a, a long journey after I lived for a couple of years in Mexico. Then I traveled, made my way uh, to Guatemala and Lake Atitlan. And he was Mexican and event showed up and started to uh, practice and give session on, on the little beach just below my house back then in Guatemala. But he had lived all over the world, right? He like did. Communities, Osho communities. He did. That's where he uh, started and founded the, the Jansu. Integrating. Integrating all the modality of healing, meditation, philosophy, and martial art, tantra, and yeah. uh, rebirth therapy. Amazing. And to the water massage, and, and, and then he brought it back to Mexico. And then he traveled to Guatemala where I used to live and then he, mm. he started training people and I sure was one of the first that got trained and definitely one of his main student basically his disciple yes Maybe beautiful you. how cool to find a master to learn with and grow with pretty amazing well it. well Patik was telling us that the Jansu was had been channeled through him from the goddess Gaia, from the, the mother her, for the healing of the nation, for the healing of humanity. It, it is definitely some of the jewel time of my life. Yes. Just to spend time with him on the beach, working with people every day and discovering this, this art, the magic of the, the water therapy. It's just phenomenal. And so, how was it for you when you first From the first were... moment. Actually, I, I, I first hold. Someone uh, yes. who is teaching you. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. From the training, like from the first moment I, I, I hold someone in my arm, I was like, this is for me. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Wow. From the first moment, I was like, wow. this is so amazing. This is so cool. I love doing mm -hmm. this. It feels, it feels great. For me to do it. I can almost feel Juan here with us. I keep getting these chills. And plus, like, you're you're allowing someone to live this tremendous healing experience. Yes. It's like it's, 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 it feels good to, to give, plus it feels good to them to receive. Everybody is happy. Yes. Amazing. You've had an amazing life. You currently teach Janzu. You have classes, maybe one week or two week groups who come and stay with you. You operate a really beautiful little hostel kind of community in Bacalar, Mexico, the Yucatan, near the Laguna Bacalar. And you... Casa Portal. Casa Portal can be found on Facebook. Yeah. And it's one of the really good ways for people to connect with you. And then you also do personal sessions. Right. So someone can come and actually have you 
put them through. It'd be like getting a massage, but instead you're getting a massage in the water, but it's a combination of so many kinds of movement, movement, unwinding, rebirthing. It's um, beyond massage. It's, it's yes. a rebirth experience. It's, it's very difficult to explain where it's one of those things that you really have to live the experience to have some kind of an understanding and even then it's hard to explain but um, yeah it's definitely very profound it's like shedding an old skin and feeling brand new and refreshed and, re and renewed yes I call it resetting our neurobiology right it's amazing so so Having lived this amazing life and followed your heart and followed your dreams and growing into really a productive kind of community leader in many ways and um, a teacher of some really positive, amazing things on the planet, spending time in community, um, sharing um, jobs and meals and people getting along really like oh, yeah, the in trans the community. Transparency circle. I was in uh, in Anita in Nicaragua. Uh, it's a transformational community, and we have those transparency circle where we are required to express ourselves with as much honesty and transparency. And sometimes it gets really raw, and people like get emotive and shed tears. And it's just beautiful. It just creates bonding and really close, intimate relationship with each and everyone so deep personal development <laughs> is kind of like part of your everyday life right right and i love it on your wall over here um we see a little chart where the people that are living in this little community hub they do they put up there what they want to do each week and that's right share meals well mostly is a section where we we prepare the meals and clean which is like maintenance, you know, like right. basic stuff that everyone has to do in every day of their life. Right. So we take turn, we take a shift, like maybe I have to cook once a week and that's then... That's great. That's great. <laughs> and then someone else has to cook once a week and in between all of us, then we're all taking care of each other. That's gorgeous. And then, uh, then there's the other section which is more like the other little chore and taking care of the garden and, you know, and and then we also are you know working on like the 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 events schedule like we're like we're offering our services or ah, uh, nice. teaching you know whatever nice. skill like uh, you know like movement art and dancing uh, contact improv dancing Very and nice. acro yoga and so for all of our audience out there I know people could actually take a vacation and come and stay with you or come and practice Janzu with you, learn to kind of open up to their own hearts more deeply. What kind of suggestions would you have um, for those who kind of maybe feel caught in the everyday life, the commitments to family, to jobs, to houses, to cars, um, to bills? What would you suggest for people to begin really connecting with their deeper soul aspects and their life journey? Well, it start with meditation. It start for, by giving yourself at least uh, that moment of the day where it's, it's just you, just for yourself, by like being with yourself, being able to go into meditation. Even if you haven't, even if you, ha you don't have a background or any teaching or any experience with meditation, just sit and be quiet. Sit and be quiet and watch your mind acting. This is what it's all about. It's like being able to observe your inner space and the chattering and being like, okay, uh, detach yourself and non don't, don't judge, no, no judgment. So just watch and see what bubbles up and allow it to come and allow it to go. <laughs> so that that would be a first step if you you know if you're like into the grind and you can't really get away from it. Like at least give yourself that quality time. I would say at least half an hour a day. Kind of turn down the volume on the outside and give yourself time for that inner quiet space. Yeah. 
And so if people really want to dip their toe in the water and take a step outside of their normal environment in order to learn and grow. Wow. Then, Stas is amazing because this is what I always tell my students is like there's the comfort zone there's the learning growing zone so you need to get out of your comfort zone to get into your learning growing zone without going into your panic zone that's great I love it it's awesome so I mean like it requires a little bit of you know, uh, courage sometimes yes. to step out of the comfort zone, but then once you do it, it's like, wow, it's so beneficial, it's so rewarding. And it might be different for each person, right? That's right. That step Every... out of the comfort zone into the learning growing zone. Yeah. For each person, that might be something different. That's for sure. We all are a uh, universe. Each yes. and every one is a... So people might go find a community near them where they live, or a co-op, or, you know, in this time of this pandemia that we're caught up in, where travel is not quite as free as it was, and there are challenges, um, looking for groups in our hometown community, uh, where people are getting together and having community gardens, or even starting a, having a, campfire once a month and inviting some people over and having a truth circle or a transparency, transparency circle. Um, those are things people can do right where they are. And then if they have the chance to travel, maybe stepping into another environment so that all the old environment isn't beating in on them and have a chance to maybe experience themselves in life in new ways. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Uh, I mean, if they can make it out here to Mexico and, and come and experience the, the, the water reaper, yes. I mean, it's a life-changing experience. That, that's really propels you into like major shift and realization. It's like yes. working with the consciousness, like transformation. Transformational experience therapy. So, if you have an opportunity to come all the way here, it would be my great pleasure to introduce you to this most profound experience. Beautiful. Also, like, yes, like you were saying, with their community and the practice and activities, like, yes, I mean, take care of your temples, take care of, uh, yes. take care, like, there's. Do exercise, eat well, yoga, meditation, qigong, tai chi, all these body, mind, awareness, practice are amazing. It's, it's like... Whole foods. Oh, yes, whole foods. foods. I, this is like the hardest nowadays. Like, like alimentation is so complex because we're bombarded with yes. what is not food anymore. Yes. You know, so so yeah, like make an effort to like find whole wholesome food and maybe look into detox if you feel like yes. this is, might be like calling for you. Cool. Well, thank you so much. I'm I, I'm really privileged to have Soul as a friend and a mentor as a we kind of co-mentor each other as friends on the path and it's really nice to have this is part of our holistic community here and um, so thanks so much for taking the time with me my great pleasure yes. carrie thank you so much i always feel like i'm getting chills down my back i always feel like juan is over lighting you mm -hmm. what was his last mm -hmm. name what's uh, his one his full name is juan Villatoro, and we all know him as patik which is the translation for the Traveler. Wow. I always, when I'm around you, I always feel him. I feel like he's here with us, and it's really amazing. Beautiful. So You're thank not you the so first much. one telling me this. Really? <laughs> Good. It's very strong. Very, mm -hmm. very strong. So we encourage you to seek your heart, your path, your joy, to live in a holistic, vital way and to be a bright light in this world. And we remember to breathe, smile, and love. By so doing, we change ourselves and we change the world. Ah.
Oh. Blessed be. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. I got this really great message. I, I, was, I was really inspired and I, I felt like sharing. So it's in Spanish. I'm going to be translating. It says, let's make the connection uh, with the moment. The moment is now. There's big change coming worldwide, which required a prepared human being. Connected with nature and rooted down, it's the only way we can save ourselves and uh, we need to take care of our mother earth. So, Beautiful. It's about like how oh, it was so clearly Mark, the choice that are being made by people to either like uh, follow the system and be ripped of their freedom or resist and like just like become independent and self-sufficient and not depend on the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Sol Naciente, I'm the founder of Jansu Aquaflow and Casa Portal Bacalar. Uh, Jansu is like a rebirth therapy in the water, liberation of trauma, fear, and stress, and much more. And this is a little chant for the, these, these difficult times and for us to stand up and rise and change the way. Grandmother's back being bent to the ground. Oppress a man, press him down, down, down. Oppress a man, see what you're doing. Oppress a man, creating a ruin. Oppress a man, hear what we say now. Oppress a man, we're changing your way now. Her body is not a commodity. Her body is not a commodity. Not the product to be bought or sold. Not to be mined for all and gold. She give what you got to give She give so that we might live Without her we won't survive So wake up children, hear the call Disposable society we're living in today Disposable society gonna throw itself away Throw itself away Superhuman now, now, now is the time. 